Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. Happy New Year. This is going to be a true Excel basic tutorial. Okay, I'm going to explain everything that you can find in the ribbon. Okay, if you are advanced user, make sure you check our playlist here. If you are a beginner, this video is just for you. Let's get started. <laughs> We are going to talk about Excel ribbon and we are going to be talking about in details. Okay, make sure you have some time. Now, this part is called Excel ribbon. Okay, this is your formula bar and this is your name range. And above this line, everything that is here is called the ribbon. Now, here, these are the tab. You can call it menus also. And you can see this down arrow. These are the menu group inside this certain tab. And these are the menu. Okay, you can see here, this is the quick access toolbar. You can change the position from here to here. If you click here and you can click here, show above the ribbon. And this is the quick access toolbar. And you can move it back to this position. Now, we will talk about quick access toolbar in another another tutorial now let's see what we have in the ribbon okay the first tab is file tab if you click here it will move you to the backstage of your excel workbook okay so this is the backstage view and you can access it by clicking file and if you want to go back to your worksheet click this arrow and you are back okay now the second tab is home tab and under the home tab you will find several menu groupings and the first grouping is clipboard you will find the cart copy and if you click on this drop down you will see copy copy as picture and you will find format painter here that means if you click here you can copy the formatting of certain cells and you can paste it and here is the paste option if you click on this drop down you will find several paste option you can go to paste special and there will be a lot of menus and I will talk about them later and then you will find the font grouping and under that you can see the font name font size you can increase or decrease the font size here you can bold your text italic or underline and you can double underline it from here then you can select the border of your cell drop down and you can add the border here and here is a lot of menus here you can check them then here is the fill color and then font color now in the next grouping under the home tab inside the ribbon you will find the alignment okay you can align your text using this menu you can change the orientation of your text just like if i write here ms excel tutorial.com and now if i click here and you can see the orientation has been changed okay now how you can go back you can remove it by clearing the format okay and here you can decrease indent and increase indent okay what is that select the cell and if you click here you can see it's moving and it can change here and after that you will find the wrap text so this is the text if i click here you can see it fits inside the cell by wrapping text okay after that you have margin center you can see if i click here it merge and center the text and if I click on the drop down, you will find a lot of sub menus here. And the next grouping is the number grouping. And here you will format your cell. Okay. You can select from this drop down general number currency and a lot of menus here. If you click here, it will format your cell in accounting number format. Okay. After that, you will find percentage and you will find thousand separator here. And then these two are for increase and decrease decimal point let's say i have 1000 here select the cell and if i click here you can see we had a digit added 1000.0 and you can add second decimal point here if you want to remove you can remove it from here so this is increase and decrease decimal in the next group in the ribbon under the home tab you will find conditional formatting format as table and cell styles conditional formatting there is a lot of things you can learn here we are going to talk about them later but you can find it under the home tab and inside the style grouping then format as table you can format your data as table using this menu cell style you can change the cell style through this menu and the next menu group is cell grouping okay here you can insert cell insert sheet rows that means if you want to insert another row here you can do that insert sheet columns you can insert column and you can insert a new worksheet but deleting you can delete cell delete row column or an entire worksheet format 
you can format the row height column width and you have a lot of formatting option here you can rename or shape move or copy a sheet you can change the tab color let's change the tab color here to red and if i create another row sheet you can see our tab color has been changed to red which we did from this formatting option okay and then you have protect sheet lock cell and formatting cell the next grouping is editing grouping here you can add auto sum and you can select a lot of function from here then we have fill option you can use this to auto fill you have series justify and flush fill also here then we have the clear option clear all clear format clear content clear comments and clear hyperlinks okay clear format only clear the formatting and it's kind of self-explanatory okay next we have sort and filter you can sort your data and filter your data from here and then find and select menu under that you will have find replace go to go to special formulas comment conditional formatting constant data validation object selection and selection pane so these are the menus that is available on the ribbon under the home tab okay now let's move to the next tab which is insert we have here pivot table recommended pivot table and table under the table grouping then we have illustration if you click here you will find different shapes and you can draw your shapes from here and then in the next tab you will have adding you can insert add-ins from different places here and then we have the chart grouping where you can create a lot of charts and graphs and you can add pivot charts maps 3d maps etc the next grouping under the insert tab on the ribbon is spark lines you can create your spark lines column win loss spark line through this menu then we have filter groupings where you will find slicer you can use a slicer to filter data visually you can see in the tooltip it says slicer makes it faster and easier to filter tables pivot tables pivot chart and queue functions okay so this is what slicer does then you have the timeline and in the tooltip it says use a timeline to filter dates interactively timelines make it faster and easier to select time periods in order to filter pivot tables pivot chart and queue function the next grouping we have links under the link grouping then we have text if you click here you can see remember word art we have used it a lot and you can find text box header and footer signature line and object and the last part is symbol and we have used a lot of it we have used it to extract symbol you can check our symbol tutorial here in this link now let's go to the next step which is page layout if you click here under the ribbon you have a page layout tab and under the page layout tab we will have different groupings like theme page setup scale to fit sheet option and arrange and in the theme option you can select lot of themes you can select colors font and effect and you can select predefined theme okay and in the page setup option you can select the margin page orientation and then page size you can select print area you can select page breaks background print titles all these are inside the page layout tab under the page setup grouping okay in the next group scale to fit you can select the white height and scale according to your need when you are printing now in the sheet option you will have this menu here grid line you can select if i click here you can see grid line is removed and if i click again grid line is here but if you click here this check mark it doesn't remove or show anything but if you check mark here when you print this workbook or print this page the grid line will be printed also if you uncheck this the grid line will not be printed same thing with the headline if i click here you can see the column name and row name has been removed which is called the headlines and if i click here they are back in the print option if i check mark here when i print this page the row and column name will be printed if i uncheck this it will not be printed okay now in the next grouping we have arrange which is bring forward send backward selection pane align group and rotate okay and all these things with shapes if you select here you can see you can rotate it and if you have another shape you can select both of the shapes and you can group it you can align it and a lot of things you can do this under the arrange groupings okay in the next step we have the formula and this video is getting longer so we are going to talk about it 
in the next tutorial and in the meantime you can check out our website which is msxltutorial.com which has launched it in this new year and hope you will like it there will be tutorials every day and let us know what you think about the website and our current video style or strategy your opinion is appreciated and thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and happy new year thank you see you in the next tutorial